Hello everybody, so I'm back with another pick a card or pick a deck reading and today's question will be would there be change or growth in my career? So as always, uh, take a second to pick the pile that resonates most with you. We have four different options, four different earrings, so we're going to call, so this one is fancy earring. I'm not sure exactly what this stone is, but it's very beautiful. Elephant earring, comb earring, and this cute little dragonfly. Alright, so take a chance to get connected. Intuitively think about the question, how will my career change or grow? Uh, concentrate and pick the pile that resonates most with you. And we're gonna get started by jumping straight into this reading with our fancy earring. All right, here we go. All right, so deck number one, we have, and I kind of put it back this way. Five of Pentacles in reverse, Will of Fortune, the Six of Wands, King of Swords, the Chariot, and the Three of Wands in reverse. Yes, so right away, um, what I'm feeling for those of you who picked deck number one with this three of wands. So I'm sensing that you all are tired of waiting on something. You've waited, you've put yourself out there and the wait period is over. That's what I'm hearing. The wait period is over because with this chariot right here, you're moving forward and you're getting promoted and I feel like almost like I feel like with this King of Swords, like, you know, this is your superior at work, your boss, your supervisor, or this is you and you've decided to boss up on the situation. And this is why you're not waiting any longer for what it is that you're looking for in your career. Um, I'm hearing that maybe some of you have decided to cut ties with a career that's no longer suiting you. Um, or I'm hearing that some of you have decided to speak up and ask for that promotion. Uh, cause even right here, like with this five of pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who was left out in the cold with something. But once again, I find it interesting that the cards that came out, um, were both like, you're tired. You're done with that energy. Like you were done waiting here. You're not waiting anymore. And you were tired of being left out in the cold. You were tired of you know, non-action or the low vibration of something. And so right here with the Wheel of Fortune, you have a lot of fortune that has either just materialized for you in your career, your career, or you're, you're like at the, I don't even know how to say this, like you're right there at the area in which it's about to pop off. It's about to happen. You're about to get a new position in a job. Uh, for those of you who are um, non-employed or underemployed, or part-time employed or however you want to put that um at the moment uh like you are there you know look at this victory card look it's it's happening you know you know you you did what you had to do you took that action where action was being taken on your behalf and right here like when you think of the will of fortune you know this is you know things just amazingly abundantly well happening for you um, but definitely, I feel like, yeah, this had a lot to do with, you know, someone taking a stern approach to the situation, you know. So for those of you who are employed and asked about this question, you know, and looked at this particular deck or felt resonated with this deck, um, what I'm hearing is, yeah, be stern in your approach. Ask for what it is that you want because that promotion is there. Even if this is, has to do with the universe, you know, your prayers, your thoughts, the things that you're trying to manifest, you know, ask for what it is that you want sternly. You know, this is a king that rules with his head. He's very disciplined. You know, ask for what you want because you're tired of waiting and you're done waiting pretty much. You're done being left out in the cold. 
you're done, you're done, you're done, you know, and this victory is yours, you know, you finally settled on what it is that you want or what it is that you know that you're going after and you're being told by the universe to do so because look at this chariot, you're going to have promotion, there's going to be upward mobility, you're not going to be stopped in this venture. All right, so those of you who chose deck number one, I really hope that resonated. Let me know. And moving on to deck number two. All right, deck number two, all of my elephant earring people. Let's see what card said for you. All right, so you have the king of, I'm sorry, king of cups, page of cups. You have the Page of Wands. Oh, there's a lot of pages. You have the Ten of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Four of Cups. Hmm, this is interesting. And it's interesting because the page, as a lot of you know, is a very young, immature energy. Uh, and, hmm... So, yeah, so with this, what I'm getting from this deck is, it's almost, it's, it's, it's kind of weird because on the one hand, it's like you're ignoring opportunities that are being presented with you. And it's like, you've been let down and you've been disappointed. And I feel like for some of you, for those of you who chose this deck, for some of you, it's as if maybe you've been looked over in the past for certain things and now that something is on the horizon you don't have faith in it um or maybe there's things that you want but you're not putting in the absolute work that you have to do to get it like this page of wands right here this is you admiring a blissful future you see this ten of cups this is that outcome this is that career i'm hearing like I'm hearing show business. I don't know where that came up. Or entertainment. This is someone admiring a great outcome, a good life. But I feel like not believing that you're actually capable of it. Wow. So, yeah, like even with this page of cups, this is like, yeah, this is you, you know, approaching it or making very small efforts to approach that thing in which that you want, that growth or that career path that you want or the growth in the career that you already stand in you know and it's like you daydream and fantasize that's what i'm saying you're fantasizing about it you fantasize about that great outcome you know that great bank account you know being the boss so whoever you are in this career or that position you fantasize a lot but some it's not even that you're not doing anything about it it's like mentally you feel like what's the point that's what I'm hearing. Like, you're feeling like, what's the point? Like, it's going to fail. It's not going to happen. Someone like me doesn't get these opportunities. That's, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you guys. For you who have chosen pile number two, you're feeling let down. And because of that, you're ignoring it. Because you don't feel like it's going to materialize anything. It's like you don't have faith surrounding the situation. It's like, you know, you have these childlike and, you know, I don't even call it childlike. Like, there's dreams and wants you know kind of like how when you're a kid it's like you can name everything that you want to be in the world and it doesn't seem like you can't do it you know and you're willing to go as hard as you need to for the sake of that career that's what you envision this path as or this thing that you want to do but you're ignoring it because of your self worth that's what i'm hearing you you're he oh wow it's like you you've let you've let yourself down before it even could happen you know and i don't know what this is connected to you know maybe you know you've been told all your life by outside sources which at that point you need to ignore those voices because they're not living that life for you they're not living your life for you but it's like you've been wow yeah it's like you don't have faith in the situation like you want something grand um but you don't feel confident in it so therefore you're ignoring and you can't even see that this is something that you can have because even look with this five of cups like you're paying attention to you know the depressive parts but you don't see these two like you have chances you have opportunities and it could be presented to you by the universe but you've 
It's like you have put yourself in such in, in this rhetoric of, oh, it's not for me. It never happens to me. You know, I don't have, you know, these great things that you don't believe it. So therefore, it's not that it's not being offered to you or won't be offered to you. You are ignoring it. So in terms of so for those of you who chose pile number two, uh, whether we change your growth in your career. Yes. Yes, there will be. But it's up to you to build up your faith your belief, your knowing, you know, that inner desire, that manifestation of what it is that you are, what you fantasize about, because you fantasize about something big. And I'm hearing that some of you is entertainment, you know, but you are in deep fantasy. And it's like, you don't believe and you have got to believe. Um, you've got to change around your own mental narrative you have got to switch those things about because that is the key that unlocks your growth and your abundant change in your career path so thank you for those of you who chose tech number two i hope that resonated please let me know uh and we are moving on to deck number three Okay, Jack number three. For those of you who chose this lovely comb earring, let's see what the cards have for you. All right. So we have the Hermit in reverse. Ugh. The Devil. The Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. And the Eight of Swords. Okay, this is interesting. All right. So what I'm seeing from this deck for those of you who chose the comb earring so those of you who chose uh this pile pile number three so i'm hearing that um some of you were like closed off like with this hermit card you were in isolation mode you're in isolation mode and you've you've chosen to come out uh with this devil card popping up right before this Right before this eight of coins, um, man, uh, what I'm seeing with this devil card is that some of you had some strongholds or codependency or I'm even hearing thoughts. Some of you had some limiting beliefs and I feel like that is what caused you to kind of go into cave mode or some of you were physically being bound by a situation. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes, okay. So some of you were physically being bound by a situation. Maybe you were locked in a contract at work. Maybe, you know, you know, it was something that you could not get out of legally or escape, you know. Um, escape make you sound so <laughs> crazy. But yeah, some of you were like locked into something that you could not be released from work-wise. Or maybe it was a home life situation. It was just something that you could not just, like you weren't in a position where it's like, okay, I'm unhappy here. Let me quit this job. Like that was not what could happen for you. And oh my gosh, I feel, I'm hearing depressed. Some of you kind of went into this like cave about it. You know, you were just done, you know, like you were just kind of like depressive about it. Um... And then there was a change, you know, or there's a change on the horizon for those of you who may still be in this type of situation where you've decided to take matters into your own hands. Oh, wow. That's what I'm hearing. And now you're working on it. You're working on it. For those of you who are still stuck in this situation, whatever the situation is that's coming out, uh, the divine is giving me from within, you know, some of you are stuck in a situation, you know, like you're attached to it and it, and I'm the crazy thing is, because usually like with this devil card, you know, it's like temptations, attachments, you know, like codependency, strongholds, you know, things that you're addicted to. But for some of you, I'm hearing like this has nothing to do with because you want to be there. This is more so like you can't get out of it. Wow. Like you're attached to something you can't get out of. But some of you, um, a lot of you actually has decided to take this into your own hands um, for those of you who are in situations that you can't get out of, like there's a legal situation I'm hearing or a contract, or maybe, you know, some of you are at a stage in life where it's like, I have to do this job or else I'm going to be homeless or whatever that situation is. You decided to take the steps in working on, it. I'm hearing applying for jobs, like you're applying yourself, um, for some of you, um, but at the same time, even with this like seven of cups, like, you know, looking at the options, it's like, 
for those of you who are like deeply attached and can't break loose, I'm hearing can't break loose. It's like you want to look for these new opportunities and work. You want to branch out. Like you're doing the work, like or you're beginning to do the work. Um, however, you, it's like you're not, hmm, because. Yeah, with this Seven of Cups in reverse, it's like, you know, the opportunities are out there. You know, maybe these are applications. Maybe these are, you know, resumes. Maybe some of you have even gotten opportunities presented to you. But yeah, like, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's fear still there. But no, no, I'm not hearing fear. I'm definitely hearing it. You know, you know that the opportunity is out there. You're looking at the opportunities. You're flirting with the opportunities. And this is why you came out of this hermit mode. Because you are seeking out the opportunities, but you are stuck where you are. Oh. So I'm hearing right at this moment, maybe right now, there are other things that need to occur. Yes, I, see, I don't want to tell anyone that their career isn't growing or changing because, you know, I, I strongly believe that is based upon you. And even with this one right here, this is someone taking their situation into their own hands and working on things. You're working to get out of things. Ah, yes, some of you. Who chose this pile you're working to get out of this situation whatever this is right here because you felt devastatingly restricted oh my gosh but yeah so like you're working on things you know the opportunity is out there like this one is nothing like the second pile which the person was pretty much you know it was a self restriction this is something else like the job you're locked into is holding you down and it's like you are looking and working towards being able to reach these other possibilities with this seven of cups you're trying to turn this up right um because right now yeah you are stuck that's what i'm hearing you are stuck and it's not you it's not your mind you've come out of that you know if there was depression related to you've come out of that but right now you are like trapped you know into this job somehow maybe it's not the right timing for some of you i'm still hearing you know legality contracts you know for some of you you know so uh definitely i will say from my point of view there is growth or change coming on the horizon but this is a slow or growth or change this isn't uh this isn't something that you can just shake off tonight you know you you know this is something that you have to work towards that's another thing that I'm getting from this eight of pentacles. You have to work towards this change. If you want it bad enough, you have got to shake whatever this thing is loose because you've come out of it mentally. That's what I'm getting with these two cards. You were somewhere else. You know, you kind of felt, maybe you felt hopeless at one point, but you come out of it mentally. You know, the opportunities are there, but you have got to shake this thing loose and you are working on it, but it's, it's progressive. You know, for those of you who chose pile number three, it's progressive. You have got to work towards it. You, if you want it that bad, you have got to work towards it. And you have to go through the challenges that you will face or are facing in order to get yourself out of this thing. And of course, you know, beyond that horizon, you know, there's, you know, bliss. You know, there's the things that you want to do with your life. You know, for some of you, I'm hearing that this has to do with school. Um, like I'm hearing, I, for whatever reason, I'm getting undergrad. <laughs> Oh, wow. Um, that kind of makes it kind of funny because for those of you who have been in any type of school, whether it's high school, I'm even hearing high schoolers, like this is where I want to be, you know, opportunity awaits, you know, I'm restricted. Yeah. Um, however, yeah, even with like a, yeah, like a school thing, it's like, yeah, you're attached to this thing because I'm like, what is this thing? Why are you, how are you attached? Um, but yeah, for some of you, this even has to do with like school. Like there's this, you know, there's opportunities await. You know, I'm here. I'm getting a lot of strong undergrad vibe, though. Um, in high school, I'm here as senior or junior in high school or college. I don't know who's going to see this who is ages 16 through 22. Or maybe before, you know, maybe you're just taking your school journey. Who knows? You know, and kudos to you. It's a beautiful thing. Um, most deaf. 
but seriously i'm here yeah you're it's progressive so yes there will be change or growth in your career but it's progressive for those of you because you're attached to something and for those of you who are still attached to like an institution like school or something institution make you sound like jail um because that, that's what some of you are viewing that's what's coming up some of you are viewing this is like man like when is this gonna end i am restricted like look at this person so definitely um for those of you who chose pile number three yes you do have growth or change coming but it's on the horizon babes like it's not happening tonight it's not happening tomorrow may not be happening next week but then again i'm not god i'm not all knowing i don't know you know but this is you working towards that and you're being told by the universe to steadily go forward steadily keep it up keep it up keep it up because that progression is going to get you to this you know where the world is yours you know <laughs> and um you can have what you want you just got to work for it that's what i mean you got to work for it you know continue to work for it because you guys are working for it uh so yeah for those of you who chose pile number three i deeply hope that that resonated and we are moving on to pile number four all right so those of you who chose deck number four the dragonfly earring so hmm your cards are very interesting will there be change or growth in your career soon hmm i'm here Ooh, okay i'm hearing change not necessarily growth in your current career definitely i'm getting that vibe uh, from this sun card uh in reverse like this is yeah this is a lack of of success we're not a lacking of success, maybe, but like an in, mm, ending. And I'm also getting that vibe from um, this 10 of swords. So, okay. So, I don't want to say it like this because it makes it sound horrible. Um, Maybe some of you, okay. So, some of you who have come here and chose pile number four, some of you have gotten fired or were laid off because two different things. Um. Or a position is coming to an end. Um, in a previous position, um, I'm sorry, in a previous pile, um, I said that, yeah, something was contracted for some, some people were stuck into contracts, you know, so maybe some of you who have come to for, you were in a contracted position and it's ending or it's nearing the end. Something is ending or has ended or, you know, perhaps, you know, and this could be some of you have resigned even, you know, some of you have resigned. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting that some of you quit. Some of you, I'm getting that some of you quit. Some of you were um, let go of. Um, some of you want to quit, you know, you're thinking about it. Like with this high priestess is like, this is your inner knowing. This is your intuition. Like, you know, this was you in anxiety up all night. But, and this nine of swords in reverse, ah, man. So some of you were being really troubled about your current situation at work, you know. Mirna, yeah, some of you were bullied even. Um, or, yeah, whatever that situation was, it wasn't serving you. It wasn't a good situation. So, and some of you were, like, stressed out about this. I'm hearing even therapy for some of you. but some, But definitely, you were just bonkers like you were just out of your mind you know about the situation and it's like innately you knew what it is that you needed to do or some of you even knew what was coming next like you know I'm here oh my gosh so I just started to hell with it if I'm fired <laughs> like some of you were mad like some of you just were straight at riff with you know with the people around you with your boss or with you know just it was not a good work atmosphere that's what i'm hearing and it had to end for some of you and some of you yeah like some of you just straight up quit like with this one yeah like this is this son like you know you lost hope with the situation there was no success you know that you can foresee you know there you know um but interesting enough um i'm getting a message that yeah with this six of pentacles in the upright you know that some of you are okay. Like, it, it happened at a time where, you know, like, for those of you who were fired or those of you who chose to quit your job um, or cease, you know, affiliation with a certain company or business or whomever, um, I'm hearing that you did it, you did it in the right moment, 
um, or you did it in a in a better moment. You know, some of you I'm hearing, you know, um, you're living with family or there's help from family. Um, there's something, you know, there's money being given to you or, you know, ah, unemployment. OK, money being given to you. So some of you who have chosen this pile, you know, you were wondering, would I get unemployment from the situation? And I'm yeah, I'm seeing a yes, you know, but definitely um, for growth or change, definitely change, you know, to end in something something ending is changed but there was no growth in this situation for those of you who chose this fourth pile no growth at all and for some yeah this was a, a depressing situation it was heartbreaking like even at once again i talked about this in my other um piles how like the first and the last card was really matching up and i promise you guys i did a sincere you know like random shuffle um from one deck at that you know and look at the first and the last card you know you were depressed about the situation this this thing was just it was not fun whatever it is that was going on at your job um yeah like for some of you it was oh gosh i'm just i'm even feeling like you know just like oh my goodness it's heavy however it had to end it had to end or it has to end or it's ending, you know, because some of you have chosen this and you're still employed by this particular, you know, employer or you're still at this job and it had to end. It has to end. Um, some of you I'm even hearing like this has to do with home life. Um, like it had to end like. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Um, I'm not sure who that resonates with, but. There's something, yeah, there had to, something had to end. It was detrimental and it was depressing. So yes, for number four, those of you chose deck number four, yeah, there is change. Not necessarily growth. I mean, of course, there can always be personal growth. I mean, even with the six of pentacles, you know, um, there can always be personal growth or things you learn. You There are things that you take away from this situation, definitely with the six of coins. Um, things that you take away from the situation, things that, you know, your aha moment, there's a greater purpose um, behind it. There's a greater thing out there for you. But this situation was not serving you. I could definitely tell you that there had to, it had to change that, you know, even the success in it. It's like, yeah, you could have made it through for those of you who haven't quit or, you know, or haven't resigned or those of you who were laid off. You, It could have made it through, but it was a struggle. That's what I mean. It was a struggle, you know. Whatever the situation is at your current job or at your most recent job, it had to end, you guys. And that's not a sad thing. Endings lead to beautiful beginnings, but you were hurt. You were hurt. You were depressed. You were just... You are not in a good space. And intuitively, you it's like you knew. Maybe, I'm hearing for some of you, maybe this was a temporary situation even. Like you knew, like it was a stepping stone situation. It was a temporary situation. You did what you had to do in order to get out of a, of a situation. And now it's over, you know. I'm hearing for some of you, don't be complacent. Oh, wow, that came out. Don't be complacent. You know, for some of you, this was supposed to be temporary for some of you you know oh i'm gonna do what i need to do to get by and now that you're by now that you maybe i ah, i get it now this this is why this makes more sense too um like you got what you needed from that situation like this is what you got what you needed from this situation that is what this coins me you got what you needed from this situation those who pick pile number four and it's time for you to go it's time for you to move on and either the universe is thrusting you out of that you know for some of you because i definitely heard fire um and that one sounds harsh or laid off because not everybody was fired, you know. Um, or it's time for you to resign or quit. Some of you have been in a situation just way too long. You got complacent. It's time for you to resign. And for some of you, this was a quick flash in the pan, fly by night type of situation anyway. And it's time for you to quit. You no longer belong there. It's time for you to, to move on. That's what I'm hearing. So is there change? Yes, there's change. Is there growth? Not in this particular job, but personal growth, if you choose, sure. You know, always look at the beauty in every situation, you know. And for those of you who stay too long, analyze why. Why did you become complacent? But you knew. You knew. So this is actually not even a bad thing. Like, you knew it was coming. And, like, you felt it. You knew it. Some of you even told people, like, I just got a feeling that they're going to do X, Y, Z this week. Or I already know this isn't going to be forever. You know, so there you go. You know, it's not a bad reading. Um, But, yeah. Definitely, there's change. 
Uh, so thank you for those of you who chose pile number four. And thank you to everyone who tuned into this video. I hope that the message is resonated. Please, please, please let me know. Uh, my subscribers are growing steadily but surely. So please subscribe and hit the little bell. Uh, and thank you once again. Peace and blessings. Have a beautiful whatever time you're watching this. Just enjoy it. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.